relationship expert suggests therapy is the space not just to work through challenges together, but also to feel enriched and nourished by focused time together. Now, this may seem easy for some, but how should one handle it if your partner doesn't feel therapy is important? Huh. Well, one article goes on to say it's important to reassure your partner that the therapy is for them too. So ladies, what are your thoughts on a mate uh, being against therapy and is that a relationship deal breaker? That's a deal breaker. Is it? Really? Really? Absolutely. Absolutely. <clears throat> the number one reason for therapy is to grow. What is the thing that keeps a relationship going? Y'all grow together. Right. Nobody wants to be in a relationship that's the same five years from now or you guys are fighting about the same thing or that person won't address what they need to change or at least look into what you need to change. If I can't have a partner who's open for therapy, I'm out. That's so Shark Tank. Oh, it no, is. It's is. a Shark Tank. <laughs> no, really, though, no, that's a deal breaker to I me. get that. I mean, I'd, I'd have to find out why he doesn't want to go to therapy. Yeah. Is it because he's had a bad experience? Is it the stigma of, you know... If I go to therapy, something's wrong with me. Why can't we work it out on our own? I would have to find that out. But then but what, what I would the be afraid... the end result is they're still not down? If they're still not down, then I would be willing maybe to go on my own. But what scares me is that I would outgrow him. That will absolutely that's what you just, happen. And that's what would freak me out. But I once uh, interviewed uh, Jenny McCarthy. And she said she went to therapy with, you know, her husband, Danny Wahlberg. And I said, Donnie Wahlberg. And um, I said, why did you go? And she goes, we went ahead of time to have tools for when things go wrong. And I said to her, wow, that's amazing that you found a man that was willing to do that. Because I think a lot of men don't want to do that. Do you know what yeah. I mean? But I think it's a good thing. Even if you do it, if he's willing to go on his own first before he tackles yeah. the yeah. issues with you, then I think, you know... I wouldn't leave him if he didn't want to go to therapy, but if it was something that was drastic that we couldn't work past, then that might be a deal breaker. I just breaker. don't think we... Sh I would force somebody to do something they don't want to do, but I would ask them to do some form of counseling for themselves. So maybe... On their own. Yeah, like maybe we don't go together because mm -hmm. some people feel uncomfortable. Right. And, and like you said, especially in the black and brown communities, Therapy is is like kind of like a new thing. Yes, and people for really sure. don't understand it. And then you know, because like, okay, would you consider therapy? Um, like, um, does it have to be with a therapist? Can it be with a pastor? Can it be uh, it's sure. other forms? Sure, of, totally. You know, sure. And so maybe I would say maybe start out that way. Like if you had a church home mm. and maybe a pastor yes. to kind of counsel. But there there are different ways of having therapy. You know, because some yes. people don't feel. And, and this is the thing, too. I'm talking about black and brown communities. Yeah. A lot of people don't, like, if you can't find a therapist that is a, of a color, that's important. You of know, because a lot of people yeah. are like, I don't want to tell this person my business. Yeah. And, you know, so, so I think there's ways, but you're right and you are right, of finding what type of counseling that they at least would feel comfortable with right. and open to. And if you can find, you know, people... And there, there are a lot of, of, of uh, black therapists um, that can make people feel comfortable. It's just a new day. It's a yes. more modern time. Totally. There's just certain think... practices in therapy yeah, that you I cannot know. have a marriage without, like communication. Yes. Therapy helps you learn how to speak your problems instead of holding it in. Therapy also teaches you how to work on yourself. Yes. You've got to work on yourself in marriage. Therapy helps you how to humble yourself and seek advice. Right. Like, these and are things you can't have marriage without. Objectively. Yes. Also, not going from fe just feeling, you know, yeah. thinking about the other person's, um, you know, I opinion. Just, I also think that sometimes you don't need therapy as a couple if you guys can communicate. I think mm. sometimes... Because I don't want to put it out there that you have to have therapy. No. There are some people that no. can... They, 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 I know couples that's been together for years, but they have an understanding and they know each yeah. other. I think... I don't... I, I mean, just therapy doesn't that hurt. Automatic. It doesn't yeah, hurt. It right. And right. I think that's what we're trying to say, that if you feel like 
you guys want to work through something so you can last, so you can stay together right. for a long time. Like if you're having it's a lot of problems, it's yeah. like, you know what, maybe somebody else needs to come in yeah. and step in and, and help us out. And yeah. maybe if you say it that way, I'm just trying to, you know right. what I mean? Because yep. it's like, yeah. but if you just come out the gate, we need to go see, like, no, wait. No, no, wait, yeah. wait. no. Right. You know, you know, you give them like, give them like three strikes and say, see, this is the reason why yes. we need to go right. see them. This is the reason. And yeah. then right. maybe that gets them to go, okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Agree. Yeah.